Hello and welcome. Today we will discuss what is photoelectron spectroscopy. In particular, we will see what is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy and we will see its application in the characterization of materials. So, photoelectron spectroscopy is based upon photoelectric effect. So, it is essential to discuss photoelectric effect first. When we irradiate some material with the electromagnetic radiation, then electrons from the core are ejected. These ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. And the phenomenon of ejection of these electrons is known as photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect is represented in the form of equation like this where S nu is the energy of falling radiation, phi is the work function. Work function is the minimum amount of energy needed to eject electron from the surface and half mv square is the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectron. So this is photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect was studied in detail by Einstein. For that, he was given Nobel Prize in 1921. Further, photoemission was used as an analytical tool by Kai C. Bond. For that, he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1981. Kai C. Bond made an instrument called XPS, X-ray photoelectron spectrometer that was used for the characterization of materials. First, we will see types of photoelectron spectrometries. Yeah, type of photo spectroscopies. Okay, so first one is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. This is used for the study of atomic core electrons. This is also called photoelectron spectroscopy for inner shell because we use for the study of core electrons. Here we used X-rays as a radiation source. Okay. And the second one is ultraviolet photoelectron spectroscopy. This is used for the study of valence electron energy levels, specifically bonding of molecular orbitals. Third one is two electron photo elect two photon photoelectron spectroscopy. In short, 2PPE. This is used for the study of valence band structure that gives better energy resolution than the XPS and faster electron ejection than the UPS. Okay, and the fourth one is angle resolved photo emission spectroscopy. This is used for the study of band structure of crystalline solids. These are four types of photoelectron spectroscopies. Now we will see X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy in detail. In XPS, X-rays are used as a radiation source. So when we irradiate material with the X-rays, the core electrons are ejected in the form of photo electrons. We basically measure the binding energy of these photoelectrons, okay, which we calculate using kinetic energy of emitted photoelectron in the vacuum, okay. So, we, we use this equation for the calculation of binding energy, where Eb is the binding energy phi is the work function, h nu is the energy of falling radiation and this is kinetic energy of photoelectron. So basically we, you know, uh, this just plot binding energy versus, you know, electrons per second, I mean, or counts per second. So basically X, XPS is used for the identification of elements and the identification of chemical state of the element. 
it is also used for the identification of relative composition of the constituents on the surface of material it is also used for the identification of valence band structure structure study of valence valence band structure these are some of the applications of xps and these are very important application because they enable us to know lot of info information about the material specifically surface information this is how you know an xps spectra looks like all the peaks in pdf get split up into two due to spin orbit coupling so you can see you know for cerium 3 positive there are two peaks for the same electron due to you know splitting of the peaks so what basically how we identify these peaks we simply calculate area under these you know peaks and we find out the ratio of area of these peaks so here the ratio is 2 is to 3 this ratio helps us to identify which element is present in the material or you can say from where this electron is getting ejected so how this we identify basically if ratio of area is 1 is to 2 that means electron is coming from p okay you will always find two peaks two splitted peaks okay and if the ratio of area of those peaks is 2 is to 3 that means it is the electron coming from d subshell okay if ratio is 3 is to 4 that means it is coming from f subset and you have initial idea of your material that which probable elements are present in your material that will help you identify the you know from where the particular electron is coming that means that will help you, you to identify the oxidation state of the ions present in your material so in this table i have shown you you can see s value is constant plus minus half but l values are changing so when l value change the value of j also changes okay and due to j j splitting you get two different peaks so you have to calculate the a you know ratio of the area under peak and you can identify these peaks if you see in my spectra you can see here uh you see so this is coming from 3d 3 by 2 and this is coming by 3d 5 by 2 so if i calculate the area under these two peaks i get 2 is to 3 that means the electron is getting ejected from d subshell so we can guess in this way the you know elemental you know i mean oxidation states of the elements in the material okay this is how xps helps to reveal some very important informations of the material so this is how i used this technique i just used this technique twice you can also use this technique you can further the surface reactivities if some material has reacted on the surface so if there there have there has been a reaction on the surface then obviously the oxidation states will change right so in this way this is very helpful technique many people use for the study of you know uh, catalyst surfaces okay and many more thing you know uh, a surface of materials whether there has been some reaction on the on the surface right so this is how it helps to study materials thank you so much for watching i have just used this technique twice i will update you if i come to know other things about this technique by then keep watching thank you so much these are some of the important points which you can note down 
Thank you so much. If you are really liking these videos, you can subscribe the channel for more videos. And if you want to watch some organic chemistry videos, I'm giving a link in the description. You can go there, watch very nice organic chemistry videos by Amit Parma. Thank you so much.